We're here today in Wee Cemetery. Uh, we've made frequent visits to the place to look at the people interred here, good to great, etc. etc. Today we're looking at uh, the life of a footballer. It's not Eddie Coleman, we've already covered Eddie, but this chap, he played for Manchester United, he played four times and scored three goals, which is quite an impressive record and reflection. I am talking, of course, about the chap here. David Byrne, not to be confused with the talking heads lead singer obviously, but David Byrne, Manchester United and international footballer. Here we are, his final resting place. I've got a very tenuous connection with David. Many years ago in the 70s, late 70s, I was working for the Water Authority and the chap said, oh, you blah blah, you like your football, etc. I know a Manchester United footballer who lives in Weast. Uh, obviously I didn't believe him, I thought I'd have, I'd have known who he was. And he arranged a meeting for me in a pub, The Widow's Rest, which is at the top of Cemetery Road. He introduced me to this small white-haired chap, he introduced himself as David Byrne, and he produced one of his international caps. He played for Ireland, uh, four times but he was called the uh, the Free State of Ireland the Irish team then this was in the late 20s early 30s. David was born in Dublin in a suburb called Rings End in the south side of Dublin. Uh, he was the youngest of 11 children and he earned the nickname Babby, David Babby Byrne. Uh, apt, apt name enough isn't it? He played for Shamrock Rovers from a long time and he was a prolific goal scorer. I think he, was, he scored 25 26 goals in one season. Um, I am only assuming that his prowess attracted the attention of Manchester United. Manchester United at this time were in the old second division. David joined Manchester United in May 1933. I found that he only made four senior first team appearances but he did bag in three goals. Uh, it was quite an impressive goal tally isn't it? For some reason his career didn't pan out at United. I know he was only small, five foot seven, whether it's anything to do with it, I don't know. But he, he was transferred back to Ireland to Coleraine. Um, let's see, he played against Spain and Belgium several times for the Free State of Ireland. So he must have been a really good footballer, but after the 30s, I've no idea what happened to the man until the club chance encounter with him in the pub in Weast. I've no idea how he came to be living in Weast. He lived in Smyrna Street. Uh, I think it was a lodging. He was living with a lady and her family, as I recall. But then I met uh, a chap who's on Salford Online, uh, Tony Gibbons, who's got a fantastic collection of photographs of Salford. And he knew David. And he showed me some photographs of him at race meetings from the Grapes Pub uh, on Eccles Old Road, Eccles New Road. Uh, he looked a small diminutive figure, white haired, and Tony told me that he was a vegetarian, which was quite unusual for that time, and didn't drink, he only ate tuna fish and you know, related items. Um, he's led a strange... You know, anyone who's put the red shirt on and played for Manchester United is good enough for me, I'll be quite honest with you, but this chap did four times. I'd love to know more about his life. I've contacted Old Trafford, and didn't get any replies sadly, but many years ago I did a piece about David Byrne and this wasn't the headstone. Since I did the first piece a new headstone's been added and I've been told that Manchester United have paid for this headstone they have a special fund for ex-players. I do hope that's true. I don't know who the other people are on the headstone. Darren Blackburn and Edward Williams. I haven't a clue whether they're family, friends, they must be friends with being a family grave. Uh, more research is needed obviously and uh, any Manchester United fans out there or anyone with connections to Old Trafford please let me know, get in touch but if you're ever visiting We Cemetery and a lot of people visit Eddie Coleman's grave particularly on the anniversary of the Munich disaster why don't you just take the time to wander over there plot J941 and spend a minute and look at Eddie's, uh, Eddie's Davy's grave and uh, Bring a flower, whatever. Just come and have a look at it because it's it's well worth coming to see, and uh, it took me a long time to find it. There you go.